not only does he do his Diablo and, 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 and you know, talk about the heat and all this, so Paul slowed it down for theatrical effect. Notice right when he calls down the power to heal, he, he clearly, clearly, and, and in real black magic, folks, you use the name of Jesus when, uh, in conjunction with calling down the demonic powers. That's what real black magic, I mean, I actually own books on it. That's really what is done. So here's Pat Robertson calling down Satan uh, in the name of Jesus. So let's go ahead and roll this. Go ahead. Now, you're going you're gonna to feel heat right down there. You put your hand down on your abdominal area, and you're going to feel the heat of God right now. No. You're going you're gonna to feel heat right down there. You put your hand down on your abdominal area, and you're going to feel the heat of God right now. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, this is going down right now. Uh, others with infection, the Lord is taking away the infections. Just receive the Lord is infected tooth. Really serious, and it's all swollen, and you're having continuous problem with it. God has just reached in and healed it by the power of God. And his problem with it. God has just reached in and healed it by the power of God. And his problem with it. God has just reached in and healed it by the power of God. And his problem with it. God has just reached in and healed it by the power of God. And his problem with it. God has just reached in and healed it by the power of God. Now, again, he's doing a gang sign there, folks. That is Pat Robertson engaging in a gang sign. And people go, oh, they like the UT Longhorns. Why do I have Berlusconi of Italy, Tony Blair, his wife, Bill Clinton? Why do I have them all constantly in a never-ending fashion, King of Jordan, I guess they're UT fans, too. Oh, look, they like UT. Look, oh, he likes it, too. The InfoWars is covering up him doing it. He, he likes it. He, he goes to every UT game. And so does he. Right when he, he does the heal motion, look, he's healing. And I'm sure all those all-seeing eyes and thunderbolts on Nickelodeon and Benny Hinn, sure, he's just, oh, another preacher, oh. And by the way, they're constantly doing them. Heal! Devil power! Oh. Just just constant. And folks, we have hundreds of these. This is nothing. We have Dan Quayle. We have, I mean, it just goes on and on and on. And, and you know what? Some of them could be doing it by accident. I mean, certainly we've all done it by accident before. The point is, is that they're constantly doing it. And then their logos are satanic. And then what they do is satanic. And then, oh, they're members of Bohemian Grove where they worship Moloch. Oh, but I've been criticized by national Christian shows several times before as an evil devil. This is Francis about. who says, my son's middle school is considering using the biometric finger scan system. Instead of having an ID card, students would just be able to have a finger scan. Do I have a right not to allow the public school to do this? I can't afford private or homeschooling. Does it seem like too much government infringement and control? <laughs> <laughs> like it or not, Big Brother's on your case yeah. all the time, and uh, we're going to have our eyes, the iris scan. You're going to have the finger. amusement parks without the finger scan. Oh, yeah, now. there's all mm -hmm. kinds of things these days for identification to make sure that you're not some bad guy with a bomb. Uh, I, I really don't think that that's terribly intrusive to ask somebody to have a scan of their finger any more than it is to ask for fingerprints. So, I mean, it's, it's one of those things. I don't think you'd have much success in, in convincing anybody that I was too much intrusion. Uh, if they, they began to take blood samples and DNA tests, it might be a different thing. All right? Like it or not, big brothers on your case all the time. And, and uh, we're going to have our eyes, the iris scan, and we're going to have... And folks, I've got the New Standard magazine right here, Feds to Fund Controversial School Surveillance. Hundreds of school districts have it, but now it's going to go to, what, what is it called here, non-cooperative forms, face scanning and tracker chips. You see... And here's one. TiVo files patent for RFID video recorder based on implant chip. 
And where is it from? Information Week, industry publication. And it says you'll have an implanted chip. It's actually in the article. An implanted chip in you, and oh, it's your personal TiVo. It knows what you want. <laughs> I remember I used to tell people that their scientific Atlantic cable boxes have a microphone in them, number one, that engineers at local cable companies have told me is used by the government to listen to you. Okay? So I don't want to get a mean email from the local cable company, some employee going, you're full of it, I work there, we're, we're good. Yeah, you answer the phone, you're compartmentalized. I didn't say you were bad. The engineer telling me this wasn't bad five years ago. But TiVo is a separate DVR recording system, as many of you know, records what you want. Fine. Remember, they go, we have the statistics, 2.4 million people reround and replay Janet Jackson's breast incident. And then the Chicago Tribune went, some normal person there went, how do you know they did that? Well, we track everything you do and build psychological algorithms and sell the data. And the Chicago Tribune goes, oh, really, you do, huh? Now, we already knew that. Not because I'm some genius. It's in industry publications. It says right here you're going to have a chip implanted in you. And if you, and if you want the new model of this coming out in a few years, you'll just have to have a chip. It says chip in the body. Information week off TiVo's press release. Chip in the body to watch TV. I'm sick of it. We're not radical here on this show. Andy Rooney gets up on TV and says, I better take a chip to prove I'm good. That piece of trash, Sean Hannity gets up and says it. And, 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 and the guy you just saw earlier, Pat Robertson, oh, I think, I think an implantable chip's okay. Oh, in a past show, oh, I think, I think everything's all right. You know, I'm just tired of it, folks. I got another one here where in the future, if you want to go in the hospital, you got to have a chip, and they're already saying they'll give people better beds and discounts if they'll take a chip. Oh, you don't have money to get in the hospital? We have a federal grant. How's half price on that surgery? Just take a chip. Why? Why take a chip? Why? Why? Anything to incentivize, anything to break the ice, any, and, and your kids. Kids, it's already happened. The Defense Department said they'd do it. We knew they'd do it. Now they've done it. And they're funding this. They said they were going to use fads to sell it. And already, your parents don't want you to have it. They're not cool. You're cool. I don't just have one chip. I have dozens. Everything I do is tracked. Ha, ha, ha. I'm anti-establishment. My mommy and daddy, those dumb Christians, they didn't want it. Or those dumb liberal parents of mine, they think it's Big Brother. I'll show them. I've got the new Igron 7 brain an analyzer stimulator, sciatica, connected. I went and got it in the new losses. I'm allowed to at age five. You can't keep me from having the technology. I've had top professors on that go, yes, we'll force you to have your brain chip soon, Alex. We deserve the future. You're not going to hold us back. I mean, you know, it, it's, it's twilight zone. Twilight zone. Come on.